Well, Steve, 65 uh, different NGOs in Ukraine are organized by the National Endowment for Democracy. Now, there are, I believe, thousands of other Western-based NGOs in Ukraine. But 65 of them. Um, I'm not able to say whether or not that's true, but I do know that 65 are organized by the National Endowment for Democracy. And certainly those of you who worked hard to try to prevent United States intervention in Central America were aware of National Endowment for Democracy groups in uh, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, constantly trying to organize people to undermine efforts for human rights or for um, maintaining basic human rights within those countries, especially if the landowners and the paramilitary's interests would be served. So um, it's, I'm glad you raised that. It's certainly something we have to be vigilant about. I'll just make another comment on, on the Ukraine. I think we uh, do need to keep delving into what's really behind all of the, the protests that started in the Ukraine, uh, who was funding them, uh, the National Endowment for Democracy, which does have as its component both a Democratic and a Republican um, think tanks, the Republican, what is it, RN, RI, IRI, International Republican Institute, and the DNI, National Democratic Institute, both of them funded by the United States. And generally, um, they, they're supposed to be giving like workshops on democracy, uh, you know, civic issues, da 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 da. But um, I think what we're going to find out on, on the Ukraine is there was much more U.S. government involvement in the protests that happened. Um, uh, when you have an assistant secretary of state that, that goes to a country to be with the protesters and whose telephone conversations, which essentially had said to the European Union's concern about what was going on to bump, bump, bump the EU, a telephone conversation that was somehow heard, overheard, and then publicized, where you have the senior officials of the United States government going directly there during the protest times and offering them, them cookies. And then uh, you see the, um, somebody's got to be funding a lot of that. So I think just keep, your, keep asking questions, ask your congressmen and women to uh, ask the administration more questions about really what was going on there.